a very good morning my dear family members dear friends please like share and subscribe dear friends as the month of june is dedicated to the sacred heart of jesus let us pray the prayer given below with love meaning and devotion prayer to the sacred heart of jesus O most holy heart of Jesus, O fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Amen. My dear friends, by clicking the like, share and subscribe buttons, we proclaim, praise, worship and glorify the Triune God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Triune God will embrace the entire world. Peace, joy and healing may be felt by everyone. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, June 30, 2023, Friday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verses 1 and 9 to 10 and 15 to 22. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God the Almighty. Walk in my presence and be blameless. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you that you must keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. God further said to Abraham, As for your wife Sarai, do not call her Sarai. Her name shall be Sarah. I will bless her and I will give you a son by her. Him also will I bless. He shall give rise to nations and rulers of peoples shall issue from him. Abraham prostrated himself and laughed as he said to himself, Can a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? Or can Sarah give birth at ninety? Then Abraham said to God, Let but Ishmael live on by your favor. God replied, Nevertheless, your wife Sarah is to bear you a son, and you shall call him Isaac. I will maintain my covenant with him as an everlasting pact, to be his God and the God of his descendants after him. As for Ishmael, I am heeding you. I hereby bless him. I will make him fertile and will multiply him exceedingly. He shall become the father of twelve chieftains, and I will make of him a great nation. But my covenant I will maintain with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you by this time next year. When he had finished speaking with him, God departed from Abraham. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response real psalm. Your response. See how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Your response, see how the Lord blesses those who fear him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. 
your response see how the lord blesses those who fear him behold thus is the man blessed who fears the lord the lord bless you from zion may you see the prosperity of jerusalem all the days of your life your response see how the lord blesses those who fear him the acclamation alleluia alleluia christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4 when jesus came down from the mountain great crowds followed him and then a leper approached did him homage and said lord if you wish you can make me clean he stretched out his hand touched him and said i will do it be made clean his leprosy was cleansed immediately then jesus said to him see that you tell no one but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that moses prescribed that will be proof for them the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings my dear brothers and sisters in christ to jesus in today's gospel reading we find that the leper is confident enough that jesus has the power to heal him but he is not sure if the lord is willing he approaches him nevertheless and pays him homage in humility he uttered his supplication in the midst of many people jesus finds a time to tend to the need of a nobody like a leper he gives the leper divine attention so to speak dear friends immediately jesus stretches his hand to touch the untouchable man and says i will do it be made clean jesus never drives away anyone who approaches him for help the leper has no other hope to help him except jesus and he got his wish immediately he is healed my dear family of mother mary's protection let us now turn to ourselves in more ways than one we are also unclean by our sinfulness we don't deserve to be near people much less to god yet we have no other hope except the lord jesus christ to heal us like the leper we let each of us approach jesus with humility and faith and ask him to make our entire being clean and with the renewed life let us begin our journey towards eternal life prayer heavenly father thank you that jesus is the friend of sinners the healer of the sick and the savior of the world like the leper who worshiped at christ's feet and was cleansed by the gracious touch of his hand may i always have faith and willingness to help others and myself to get healing from jesus we ask all these things through the intercession of mary the mother of jesus and in the name of your son jesus christ who lives and reigns with you 
and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I adore you, I love you and I trust in you.